If you're interested in Kodi or have it installed, you may not know about builds that can enhance your experience and offer extra content. In this video, I will guide you through installing another build I like, Misfit Mods Lite. This build is ideal for those looking for free ways to stream, but also for more advanced users who want to link in their Real Debrid and other accounts. Let's dive in and take a look. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my latest video releases. Before we begin, please ensure you have downloaded and installed Kodi. Now to keep this tutorial short, I recommend you watch my previous video linked to above and in the description below that shows you how to install Kodi step by step. Once you've done that, return to this video to install the Misfit Mods Lite build. Or if you prefer a written guide, you can follow the tutorial on my website by going to firetvsticks.com forward slash Misfits Lite. It's crucial to be aware that your internet service provider can monitor your online activity, which can be problematic if you use third party or unofficial add-ons to access content. To ensure that your online activity remains hidden and private, using a virtual private network or VPN is always a good idea. This simple step can provide you with a shield of protection. Here's another tip from Tan to explain more. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. When you install a Kodi build, there are three main steps. First, you need to enable the option of allowing unknown sources. Second, you need to install a repository that contains the build. And finally, you can install the build from the repository. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In fact, it's a breeze and the whole process should only take a few minutes. With Kodi open, we need to enable unknown sources to allow Kodi to install third-party add-ons. Go to the home screen and select the cog icon or settings. From there, select system and then add-ons. Toggle on unknown sources and select yes if you receive a warning message. Next, go back to the system menu and select file manager. Select add source and then choose the option that says none. Here, you need to enter a URL in the box. The URL to enter is http colon forward slash forward slash misfitmods dot com forward slash mmwiz forward slash repo. If you can't find the colon key, select the caps or caps lock button to see it. Once you've entered the URL, select OK, then tap down and enter a name for the media source. I suggest entering Misfit as we are installing the Misfit Mods Lite build from the Misfit Mods repository. Now go back to the system menu and select add-ons. Choose install from zip file and select yes if you get a warning message. 
Scroll down and select the media source we created earlier, which was Misfit. Then select the file named repository .misfitmods onefourzip Select OK and wait for a confirmation message to appear in the top right corner of the screen. To install the Misfit Mod Lite build, ensure you are in the Add-ons menu. Then select Install from Repository. Next, choose Misfit Mods Repo. And then Program Add-ons. From the list of add-ons, select Misfit Mods Wizard. Click on the Install button and then OK. Wait until a confirmation message appears in the top right corner of the screen, confirming that the Misfit Mods wizard has been successfully installed. You will now receive a pop-up with all the latest news from Misfit Mods wizard. Here select Close. And you will then be asked if you would like to install a build by running the Misfit Mods wizard. Select Yes. When the wizard loads, you are given several options. For this tutorial, I will be installing the Misfit Mods Lite build. Scroll down and select Misfit Mods Lite 21 version 1.0, then select Continue. Cody will now download and extract the Misfit Mods Lite build. Depending on your internet speed and device, this may take some time. Once completed, you will be asked to close Cody, select OK, then find and open Cody from your device. The Misfit Mods Lite build has now been installed. I suggest leaving it open for several minutes as at this point it may need to download and install updates. If you want more information about the Misfit Mods light build, you can visit firetvsticks.com forward slash Misfits Lite. There you can find details about how to add anything to your favourites, link your Real Debrid or Tracked account and navigate your way around it. Or if you decide that the Misfit Mods light build is not the right one for you, or if you want to explore some alternatives, you can check out my other tutorials by visiting firetvsticks.com forward slash best hyphen builds. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and turn on notifications from this channel so you don't miss any of my latest videos. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Firestick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. 
Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.